in dealing with rulers and guides, um, setting up your document, it's very important to be as accurate as possible. So uh, what we want is we want to make sure that uh, our zero mark starts here on the upper left-hand corner of the artboard. Uh, that's the zero position for the rulers. As you can see right now, the zero position is way over here, um, horizontally, and up and down or vertically, the zero position is here. So I'd rather the zero position of the rulers correspond with the upper left-hand side of my artboard here in Illustrator. Going up to the top of the ruler, or the top left of the ruler, you have this uh, corner here, you'll notice the little crosshairs. If you click and drag, you see those little crosshairs or light guide marks come down. Line them up with the upper left corner of your artboard and release, and you'll see the zero mark now corresponds with the upper left hand side of the artboard. Now this guide is locked, so I'm going to go to my layers, unlock the guide, and you can, in fact, create a separate layer for your guides. That way you don't ac accidentally delete them, so you can lock them. Um, clicking on this guide here, I want it to be a 0.25 inches or a quarter of an inch from the edge. So I'll simply change that to 0.25. When I press the tab key on my keyboard, you'll see the guide shift just ever so slightly. That's because it's taking that new dimension into effect. Uh, this horizontal guide, I will click on the Y dimension, which is our up and down dimensions. So we want it uh, a quarter of an inch down from the top of this artboard here. So we'll press 0.25, then press the Tab key, and you'll see it shift. Now what about these two? Well, we can use the um, the ruler to our advantage. We can just set the zero point to begin at the bottom right. Of course, everything will be positive to the right and positive uh, down. So uh, our dimensions here will now be negative. So we're actually going back 0.25 on the x-axis. and then up 0.25 on the y-axis. So here this is as precise as possible. Uh, it gives me a good start. Go ahead and lock my layer for the guides. And I do want to reset the zero mark to the upper left hand side of my artboard. This way the entire artboard is in the positive and not in the negative. Uh, as far as my dimensions go.